select Chrome. Chrome opens, and I'm just going to start typing Amazon. Oh my goodness, Chrome knows Amazon.com. And then I'm going to type in the Yakker Tracker. Yakker Tracker. I'm going to type it in correctly. That way it'll actually find it. And it comes up right away because I've already bought it, which is interesting. So here it is, the Yakker Tracker. I have Amazon Prime, which means that the shipping is paid for two days, which is really, really nice. If you don't have that, um, you're a silly. Uh, clicking on that, and then I would add it to my cart, and then I would go ahead and proceed to purchase, proceed to checkout, and it would cost me about that um, that amount that was pictured there. So. Um, you can see that uh, I've been practicing this, this a bit, so I might have a few Yakker trackers in my shopping cart. Proceed to check out, and then it asks me for my password, and I live on the Earth in 2013, so therefore I have an Amazon account. Oh, looky there. It looks like several Yakker trackers have been added to my account. Um, and so I would just buy that, and it would be here day after tomorrow, which is super cool. We have the Yakker tracker, an awesome classroom management tool for keeping the noise level at bay in your classroom. As you can see, it's a yellow box, and if I look to my right, I can see my actual Yakker tracker. We're just going to zoom in on that here in one second. As you can see, we have a few controls for the device. We've got the sound on off, we've got the power on off, We've got decibel level control, which is sensitivity, and then volume of the alarm uh, when you exceed the number of decibels that you set it for. When I turn the power on, the sound will default on, and it will default to a low decibel, high sensitivity setting. There we go. It's on, it's on the lowest setting right now. I'm standing right next to it, talking into it, and you can see it's going up into the yellow, and then the alarm goes off. That could be really annoying, so I'm going to turn the uh, sound off. That's the alarm sound. It'll still go uh, to a high decibel rating, but now I'm going to turn the sensitivity down, which is to turn the decibel level up, and that's kind of a more normal uh, average thing. In a moment, we're going to see a uh, classroom full of second graders, and we'll see how able they are to control their sound level. So here's Yakker Tracker set for 70 decibels with a bunch of first graders outside, just ready to come back in. You can kind of hear them a little bit outside, and we'll see how it does throughout this video. I may have to adjust it. So here with regular classroom work, I'm going to reset it to 70 decibels. So Yakker Tracker's in the green now, as you can see over my shoulder. The second graders, I thought they were first graders, but they're second graders, have left. And they didn't leave so quietly. Probably we had some yellows, and definitely we had a few reds there uh, toward the end. Um, anyway, the Yakker Tracker can be a very useful tool for self-management. I didn't tell the class about it, so they weren't self-aware as much as they might have been with this uh, incredibly useful tool. But uh, anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching.